everybody. Happy Halloween, or should I say trick or treat? <laughs> so welcome back to my channel, Smile by Holly. It's great to have you here. And I'm so excited today. This mini album is so stinking adorable. I'm so excited to show you how fun this is. So this mini album, the base is actually made from a box from the Dollar Tree. And I was just, I had never made this before and I was so excited to think what a great base this makes for your mini albums. So anyway, we're just gonna jump right in, but first, let me just show you a quick flip through on this fun book. So let's just go ahead and get started. You know, as you're watching this video, if you get some value out of it, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So here we go. We're gonna make this adorable trick or treat mini album. So I've made mine with a cute, you know, Halloween theme, but Dollar Tree has these boxes for all the different holidays. I mean, you could pick up one of these boxes for Christmas and that would make just a darling Christmas album. So the sky's the limit, but let's just go ahead and get started. Now, the measurements that I'm going to be giving you um, are going to be for this bigger box, but let me just show you. I picked up three boxes and they're all just slightly different. So this box right here, the smallest one, actually has a two inch spine. Now the, the album that I made up, the spine was two and a half inches. And then the bigger box, the spine is actually three inches. So I will actually in the description put the measurements for each one of these boxes and you will just want to measure what your spine is and then go with those measurements, okay? So I think they would all be just an adorable size. Once again, I made the two and a half inch spine, but today on camera, we will make the box that has the three inch spine. So yeah, measuring at three inches. So go ahead and take your box and let me just show you what you'll want to do. So we're going to cut here, here, and then the bottom of the box out. Okay, so let me just go ahead and get that cut. Look, there is the base to our mini album. And you can even save this string if you wanted to, I mean, you could make a bow out of it. And let me just get this tied. You could make a bow with this. I mean, it's using everything you have and add the bow on the front. So whatever you'd like. Okay, so here is the base to our mini album. Once again, this box is one with a three inch spine. So for a three inch spine, you are going to want to start out with a piece of paper that is eight and a half inches long. Now, the, the length of the book is six and a half. And what you'll wanna do is just make it slightly smaller than six and a half so it doesn't come right to the edge of the book. So let's see, I have made mine um, at six. So where the actual length is measuring six and a half, I made my hinge a half an inch shorter. So six by eight and a half is gonna work out just perfect for right here for that three inch spine, okay? I'm just gonna slowly bend that. I don't wanna crack it, but we do want this to be able to bend. Okay, I'm gonna set my base aside and I'm gonna bring in my scoreboard. Okay, so once again, this is for the bigger box that has the three inch spine. And what you want to do is you want to just do a score mark every half inch. Now this is going to give you six hinges. So. As the albums go up, there's it adds an extra page. So for the two inch spine, the smaller box, this is going to have four hinges. Then the book that I made, the two and a half inch spine, this had five hinges. 
And then for this bigger box, this is actually going to have six hinges. So it just slowly goes up by increments and adds an extra page. So we're just gonna score this at a half an inch all the way down. So a half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. I went off a little bit. <laughs> you know, I am not one for doing a lot of math when trying to figure out hinges. And so by making these every half inch just seems to kind of simplify the process, you might say. Okay, so we have score marks at every half inch. Now, let me show you how we are going to fold this. The very first one, you are going to fold, okay? Then you are going to skip two, so one, two, and then you're going to fold it again, okay? So that is going to give you just that little tiny space in between. So we're gonna skip two more lines, one, two, and then we're going to fold on this line. Okay, so it's coming together. So let me try it again. So you fold the first one, and then you skip two lines. One, two, and then you fold on the third one, okay? Then one, two, we're gonna fold on the third one, okay? One, two, we're gonna fold on the third one. One, two, we're gonna fold on the third one. One, two, we're gonna fold on the last one. Okay, so let me just kind of scrunch this together and you will see it as it comes together. Once again, we fold it on every third one. As the paper kind of takes shape, you'll kind of see, see it come together. It takes a minute for <laughs> me to get my fingers going. Okay, so there you go. Do you see how that came together? So once again, we folded on the first one and then on the third one. We skipped two and folded on the third. So there's six hinges. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay, I'm just going to kind of fold and burnish this really good. Get the paper moving in the right direction. Okay, so let's scrunch these together and we'll bring in our base. And then this spine, once it's all glued down, is going to go right in here and it does fit. It's kind of hard to tell I, until I get the glue, but that's going to fit just perfectly down there in the middle of our little mini folder. So let's go ahead and get glue on it. And right where these uh, hinges are uh, creased, we're gonna put glue in the middle of them, okay? And glue those down together. Make sure you get glue in the corners and glue that down. I'll move that out of the way. Okay, once again, right where these two are creased, put the glue down. Okay, and pinch those together. Like I say, it's a little bit awkward when you have all this material that's bending in different directions, but once we get it all scrunched in and glued together, you will see it kind of taking shape. Okay, do you see there is our little hinge system? And then that is going to go right down here in the middle. And you want to leave just a little bit on the top 
and then a little bit down on the bottom. Now this is where you want to use, you know, don't be um, scrimpy with the glue. Use a lot because you, this is going to hold all of your pages. So you, you want to make sure you get a good hold. Okay, now I'm actually going to stand up so I can get this on here straight. Just trying to center it the best I can. Oops. <laughs> now you want to make sure that your hinge does not go you know, over where the book creases or the book is not going to fold. Okay. And I'm just pressing my finger down in between those to kind of work the glue out or work the glue down, I should say. Okay. So look, look how easy that was. We've got six spot, six hinges, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we are ready to add our pages. So let me grab the black. Now you could make this in the base in any color. I thought black worked so good for Halloween. So if you're making the three inch book, you want to take six pieces that are, let me grab my measurements, six pieces that are seven and a half, by five and a fourth, okay? And then you want six pieces that are five and a fourth by six and a half, okay? So just a little bit smaller. What we're gonna do is we're going to bring in our scoreboard and on the pieces that are larger, the seven and a half by five and a fourth, we want to score at a half an inch on both sides. Okay, so a half an inch. on both sides. So what we're going to do is, let me just show you really quick. We'll take the big piece and then we'll take the smaller piece and this is just going to glue right down over the top and that is going to make our page that just fits down and over our little hinge. Okay, does that make sense? So let me go ahead and get the rest of my paper scored. Once again, these are the bigger papers that are seven and a half by five and a fourth, and they are scored at a half an inch. Once again, this is gonna be different depending on what size box you get, but this is for the three inch spine box. I think they even have a bigger size box, which would make a really cute album, but I didn't figure out measurements for that one. But there's three different options though, depending on which box you get. So I really, I really would like to try this um, as a Christmas album. You know, Christmas time, Dollar Tree has, oh my goodness, the cutest boxes. Well, the cutest everything. I love it when you can get a good deal at Dollar Tree. What do you guys think? Are you guys Dollar Tree shoppers? Oh my goodness, I love it. I just found the coolest little packages of sequins and glitter and I just about died. I swear they probably look at me funny when I go to check out and I have like 10 packages of sequins. <laughs> I'm wondering what is this lady doing? <laughs> okay, so we've got all six of those. Uh, scored. I'm just going to fold and burnish. And I should probably have my bone folder and it's buried. If you could see my desk right now. Yep, it's a mess. You know when you get crafting. <laughs> ah, it's, it's, like a, it's like a tornado hit my scrapbook room. But that's okay. It's all in the part of fun. Okay, now once again we're going to take our bigger piece and we're just going to add glue onto our little tabs here.
and then take our smaller piece. This is the piece that's six and a half by five and a fourth. And we are just going to get that right on the top and then right down here on the bottom. Okay, there is our first page. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the other five. Okay, so we've got our six pages. Let's go ahead and bring in our base. And what we're going to do is just add glue to the outside and then the inside and our page will fold down right over the top, okay? So once again, don't be stingy with the glue. You wanna make sure that your pages have a good hold, especially, you know, once you get the embellishments on these, uh, you just wanna make sure your pages are nice and sturdy. Okay, so for our first page, we're just gonna lay that down over the top and they fit just like nicely. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm kind of laying it down. I wanna make sure that this stays nice and even. You know, occasionally if you don't get your hinge on uh, centered, this can lean off the bottom part of the book or the top part of the book. So I like to just kind of Lay it down and make sure it's all lining up this way, okay? Okay, so we've got all six pages in our cute little album. Isn't that just so wonderful? Now from here, basically, you can do anything. You could make pockets, you could make flip up flaps. Uh, this already has a pocket on the side. And so, and that's what I had shown you in here is I just put a tab and then these pull out. I thought that would be cute, you know, to put either a photo or a cute embellishment or thought. Okay, so now if you want to add the pages that pull out for this size album, these are five, let me make sure. These are five by six and that just fits perfectly down in there. And then, you know, you could add a little tab to help pull it out. So anyway, I am actually not going to embellish this one on camera. Um, I'm going to be doing it off camera, but let's go ahead and do a walkthrough on the one that I did already embellish. So once again, I have a bow and I put a little eyeball on there. I thought that looked cute. You know, Dollar Tree had, not only did they have these fun boxes, but they had, you know, wiggly eyes. And so throughout this album, I have put wiggly eyes and I think it turned out really cute. So let's go ahead and open it up. One thing I did is I actually uh, put a card on the inside flap. I am going to be gifting this. So I thought having that card right on the inside flap was just a cute little extra. And you can choose if you want to do something like that or not. The embellishments that I'm using today were so fun. I actually got these on a website. It's called Snap Click, and it's where you can either buy digital products or you can buy physical products. But every week they put things on sale, and I love buying digital paper packs and then printing them off um, on my own. This uh, cute little uh, bunch of embellishments is done by Lori Whitlock. She's one of my most favorite designers. And this was a digital product that you can actually print out on your own, which is neat because you can make these, you know, whatever size you want. Um, and this is called Cute Spooks Element. And it comes with the paper 
that matches. So it was so fun to put these together. So if you want to look that up, once again, I get my a lot of my digital products at Snap Click Supply. So that's where I got these cute embellishments. But once again, I have the cute little note on the front, a little witch, and once again, I've added the googly eyes. You've got the pull-out card. Then over here, I've got little Mr. Frankenstein. And look how fun those googly eyes. I think they just add a really fun little element. Then I printed out some words that just a little bit bigger than the paper to kind of match. And you've got your pull-out card. I love this paper. You've got your cute little ghost with the wiggly eyes and then candy with the pull-out card. And then some more paper. And once again, I just made that little sentiment a little bit larger with the skull and the googly eyes with the pull-out card. I love the colors to this uh, paper pack. Then you've got Mr. Skeleton. And once again, everything's got those wiggly eyes. Happy Halloween with that fun spider and then a pumpkin on the back. Now, just note when you're making these albums, they weren't necessarily meant to be albums. So as you can see, that's kind of coming apart a little bit. Um, you could certainly add some paper there. I think I am just going to add some clear glue just because I want to make sure that that does not come apart anymore. Um, and then I may add a paper over the top. I'm just gonna let that dry. I just wanna make sure that doesn't lift. So kind of watch for that. It's just the name of the game when you're buying you know, a box and turning it into an album. And then you could certainly decorate the back if you'd like. But what do you think? Didn't that turn out adorable? Anyway, this was a really, really fun one to make. I had a lot of fun and I was so excited when I saw the idea of making the album out of these fun little boxes. So run to your Dollar Tree, check that out. But thank you for joining me today. It was great to have you along. I hope you're having fun on your Halloween crafting. I know I'm having a blast. It's been a really fun season. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd also love to have you subscribe to my channel. Uh, once again, I will put in the description the measurements if you are buying the smaller box or the box that's actually this size, the two inch spine, the two and a half inch spine, and the three inch spine. So that way opens up a little more possibilities if you uh, are looking for different sizes of mini albums. So thank you again, happy crafting, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.